What is a catalyst? An idea, a little thing that could stimulate change, speed up processes and cause reactions. This catalyst started with three women in a kitchen. In that kitchen, they brewed an idea that would take on form and transform the lives of thousands of Nigerian women. That idea became Wimbiz, Women in Management and Business. A young gentleman, Chichi Okonjo, who was working in Accenture, he went to South Africa and uh, apparently either attended this conference or heard about it and came back to tell his boss, Amabala Johnson, that look, I went to this conference for women in business in South Africa and it was amazing and really we should be able to do something like this in Nigeria. And Mabala, of course, was also very excited and she called me and said, you know, uh, this is what, uh, this is this proposal that has come up and we all thought, fantastic, let's do it. I thought it was a great idea. I spoke to my sister, uh, Yoandi Zakis, and then we started gathering, you know, women around. The idea of Wimbiz came from me observing my wife and the challenges she was having at work. She was working for an oil servicing company. She would go to work at, uh, I believe, about 5 a.m. and come back at around 9, 10. So I felt that there was a need um, to have some form of mechanism that will help encourage women, you know, who are in such positions. And also encourage women generally, you know, help push women uh, into prominent management and leadership positions. We thought, who will we go and sit with in coming up with the names of like a core group that would run with this project? And we, of course, thought of our friend Maury Desalu, who knows everybody and everything. So in my house, on my dining table, we sat and sort of designed it. Wimbiz, Women in Management and Business, is a non-profit organization created with the vision to be a catalyst that elevates the profile and influence of women in management and business. At the time I joined, we actually hadn't crafted a vision for Wimbiz. But after our first meeting, and uh, we realized that what we actually wanted to be was to be a catalyst that elevates the profile of women in management and business. We want an organization, a non-profit organization that would be basically dealing with a lot of the issues we had found as women in business and women in the corporate world. I think a lot of it is also for women themselves to know what they can do, what they have inside them, because you can't change anything from outside. Any change in anybody has to come from within to sort of say to them, you are something and you can achieve whatever it is you want to achieve. And so we said we'd be a catalyst. Wimbiz was formed in 2001 by 13 individuals. It has grown into an establishment with members in the top echelons of the corporate world, business and politics. Because of the impact our various programs and activities have had in different sectors, you'll notice that we've added public service to the name of the organization. And now it's women in management, business and public service. Wimbiz aims at becoming a catalyst to stimulate the change process in women, giving them the encouragement and support to pursue their business and career goals without compromising their roles as mothers and wives. Over the past 10 years, Wimbiz has used a set of programs to achieve these goals, which is the annual conference that holds every November as its flagship event. Coming to the conference, it's almost like a culmination of all of the roundtables that we do every month. Um, the, the seminars that we have, you know, the lecture series that we have and, and the CEO um, the breakfast meetings that we have. It's a culmination of all the different events that we have throughout the year. The conference has a different theme each year, addressing challenges of women in management and business. This is my first Wimbiz conference and I've been totally, it's exceeded all expectations. Um, to Totally enjoyed it. I'm plugged into the economy now. The conference also features inspiring and experienced professionals who are role models for other women to look up to. At the end of the conference, women leave feeling enlightened, turbocharged and ready to take on the world. Wimbis has exhibited in the past that the impact beyond you being a woman but it brings it all out as a, into your corporate world, 
it brings it all out into your business, entrepreneurs, there's a lot of networking, and a lot of businesses have been born during networking and business conferences. There is always something new and unique. The empowerment is awesome. I can say that I have been empowered in all the areas of my life and everything is different and is new and there is no dull moment. And with Wimbies, you don't even know what you're going to meet because of the kind of the caliber of facilitators and speakers. These are experts in various fields and that has helped me in all the areas of my business, be it in the growth of the business, in strategic business decision making, in managing my people, and also for me as a woman and also as a mother, there is always something new to learn in women's programs. I don't think there is anywhere where you find women in various cadres of managerial levels, entrepreneurs, public servants come together. Um, and be able to discuss intelligently to prefer solutions to various issues that concerns them as wives, as mothers and in their career. Um, that's one of the unique things that the Wimbase Conference always addresses and with each year you find out that we're able to even drill down deeper to get to these issues and for me I've always found solutions to various areas in my life. The, the testimonies that we hear in terms of women starting businesses, women begin to do different things because they've just been inspired by other women. I attended the conference and the people you would meet, the, the speakers that came up to, to, to chat with us was very insightful. I've gained a huge amount of um, knowledge from associating with Wimbiz. Wimbiz also has a six-month mentorship program which is a tool for inspiring younger female associates in practical, measurable ways. We have a mentoring process, a, a proper structure for mentoring, and that has been quite successful. Before the mentor mentee program, um, I was afraid of opportunity. The mentoring program gave us that platform, people you could look up to. You say, okay, I want to be this in 10 years' time. Who can you look up to? You want to have a, a, a closer relationship with those kind of people. They say that, oh, it's visible. Can I be this kind of person in 10 years' time? And I've been a better person. I've learned so much. I've learned to be dispassionately passionate. That I have learned, you know, through this, you know, mentoring program. The Week Initiative, Winning Without Compromise, targeted at young girls in tertiary institutions and fresh graduates. We Week teaches young women how to excel in career and business without compromising ethics and morals. Uh, I remember going to the Unilag when there were like 550 something girls in attendance. There were maybe about six, seven of us that went for that particular program. And we talked about our lives, we talked about our careers, we talked about the opportunities we've had, we talked about some of the issues, we addressed the issues they would have to deal with. We're not all about having a conference, we're not all about having lecture series and all of We're taking care of young girls. But like many NGOs, one of its biggest challenges is the need for funding. Funding is a major issue for us. And most NGOs and non-profits in Nigeria and across the world. But one of the things that we must do is continue to align ourselves with organizations that their CSR has the same objectives with ours. What we're looking for is for partners, people that will work with us support us through the process. It's not only in terms of money, but also in terms of partnership. And that's what we want. The success of Wimbiz has surpassed the expectations of even the founding trustees. I assume we'll have more people from the different parts of Nigeria involved in Wimbiz. I have a news to take back to where I am based because basically I have lived all my life in the north. And then the perspective over there, a lot of women need to be plugged in. And I think I'll be an agent, a catalyst, and I'll push myself into them and tell them, hey, let's get down over here. Wimbies has a message for every woman. I think it's been um, transformational, really, if, if I was going to pick one word. Um, I first heard and learned about Wimbies in 2007 when I attended the conference. And since then, I've been involved in a number of different things. And I found that you know, it, it's helped me with skills. So I've picked up new skills um, that have helped me in my professional and, and personal life. I've met a number of wonderful women. Um, I've networked excellently. And I think it's also helped me 
bridge a number of gaps that I, I personally had in my knowledge um, through attending programs and especially the conference. As an organization, we've seen tremendous impact in the last 13 years and we're seeing the growth. It's a steady growth and we're very pleased at where we are today. I mean, if you look at the associate membership, it has increased by 60% across the board. Um, even our, our launches now, we are having launches now in Abuja, in Putakot and Ibadan compared to what we were doing just in Lagos a few years ago. But also in terms of the diversity of the kind of people that we're bringing into Winbiz, we're talking about people from different walks of life, different ethnic, ethnic groups, and not only in terms of just the, the executive council, but also the associate members and the people that we're working with. Things are changing. We're very happy about the impacts that we're making. And we're hoping in the next few years to even do more. From an idea birthed in a kitchen to an organized structure that has fostered remarkable growth and change in the Nigerian women folk, Wimbis remains the catalyst that elevates the profile and influence of women.